Number two, for the mere fact that you are doing it, this is your purpose and your meaning. You just got to take the shit more serious. You, what I'm trying to say is, is sometimes we hear, but we don't register. We don't process. So when I say you are the ones that are fortunate enough to, to, to tap into this knowledge when the whole world is crazy, you need to process that for a minute and understand the importance of that. First of all, the greatest thing on the planet is the knowledge of self and basically the knowledge of the universe. For you, for the mere fact that you are even interested in this or remotely interested in this at this particular time when shit is going on crazy out here, it means that you are the special evolved beings. And so when I'm saying you need to process, you got to process that everything that you read in these books that you admire about the gods in the heaven and the gods in the universe, you must understand that that is nobody but you at this particular time. There's two realms of gods. That's the one that's dead, laying out like the body of Osiris. And there's the ones that's dead, but they are, they're dead physically as far as this physical body does not make them, is not, they, they're not able to do the things that they once used to do when they were gods. But you are not dead mentally because you are rising up. And for the mere fact that you are trying to understand, you're trying to get this knowledge, trying to get this, and you're trying to understand the meaning of it all, that means your spirit is going through a ritual. You just take any adventure story. And you know, they had to go through, they had to go and had to fight this particular person, they had to fight this particular person, and at the end of the, the, the movie, they get what they're supposed to get, and they are glorified. That's what's going on with you now as your struggle. So we had the mystery system that was in the last days. You had the mystery system. But the mystery systems are now closed down, and now your initiation that you become God is in your struggle. So for the mere fact that you are catching hell and going through this struggle, it's a form of initiation. But you must understand that what I'm saying to you is that the ones that the whole world is looking towards at this particular time, first of all, they're looking for the black people on the earth, the last realm of the spear of the Kabbalah. Let me put this up. Uh, for those people who know, we, we, we go for the long haul, for the ones that uh, have to leave, we give you knowledge, you get full up, and you know you leave, and if you miss, you always can come back and get the tape. For the ones that want to stay, uh, who want to stay, we just, you know, we, we you, you, people know who, who's been to the lectures and all. We don't let out early and all, you know, and stuff. Uh, but the point is, is what I'm trying to make here is, the realm, you've got to understand the concept of the God that you are searching for is yourself. And the God that everybody is depending on at this particular time is a few people in Atlanta, which is you. A few people in New York, a few people in Philadelphia, a few people in Chicago, a few people in all the major cities, which is less than 1%, and a few people scattered out in the rural areas. And those are the, the light bringers that you're talking about, the great old ones. So you have to understand this concept. The other concept you've got to understand, a God... What, whatever you do as a God, there is no chastisement for it. I, I, I'll explain to you, you've got to stop thinking like a human and start thinking like a God. You see which one to cry on? Stop thinking like a human. You've got to start thinking as a God. G-O-D, generator, operator, and destroyer. Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? John chapter 10, verse 34, 35. You know the whole deal. Uh... You have to start thinking this way because, okay, here it is. You have to start thinking this way because I'm telling you, the reason, what is the hold up is that the actual gods do not realize they're gods. There's a good movie you need to get. Everything you, there's a good movie you need to get. You need to get a movie called A Never Ending Story. You thought it was a child movie. And he gets this little book and he goes through this adventure. And at the end of the movie, in midway of the movie, they say, hell. Coming to find out that the little boy that was reading the book of all these magnificent heroes, the other boy on the other side who was going through all the trial was him. And they said, and, and, and at the end they said, well, hell, our world is falling down because he doesn't believe in himself. It's all about you. That's the key. You can't, that's the key. This is the real knowledge. There's a mystery of the world, and the mystery of the world is look for no God to save you but yourself because it's within you. It's within you. It's just that the devil came down about 2,000 years ago, basically, when we get into this, 
and he made you start worshiping him so you would not cultivate the energy within you. And that's your slavery and your real bondage. And this is the key what we have to deal with here. Because, I mean, we go through, we, 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 I mean, we see things on TV and we see this shit and we say, when is this shit over with? But the key is, in the 60s, we didn't have this knowledge. In the 70s, we didn't have this knowledge. In most of the 80s, we didn't have this knowledge. You see what I'm saying? We only had a few people talking about it in the past years before that, and we all thought they were crazy. But now, we have the knowledge. As a matter of fact, some people saying, you know, um, um, they say things like, um, too much knowledge is dangerous to the, the untrained ear. That's not true. What is happening here is, what is happening here is this. You are, there, the knowledge is here. Now, there is no more secrets. There is no more secret societies that's holding back knowledge. You see, the white boy understood that they would keep people dead long enough until they would be so dead until there would come a time where there would be so much immersed in ignorance until they can give them knowledge and they will reject knowledge. And that's when you start putting out all the knowledge. That's why you go to your family members and they reject the shit. And mainly you. So they know that most black people reject this. I don't want to hear that black shit. I don't want to hear that shit, that old crazy voodoo shit. So because they reject it, now they can put the stuff out. So there is no more such thing as secrets. The secret is that the masses of the people hate knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? So, as, so up around 1985, they, they knew that the people would reject knowledge because they knew you rejected it in the 70s and the 60s. So they said, now we can put all the stuff out that we had held for the last 140 years that we dug up around the world. And as a result, that's why we only have less than 1% of the amount of people that really bears witness to what the hell is going on. You see, so uh, 